<clears throat> All right. Well, welcome to episode two of my American Football FM 19 series. Um, I've gone ahead and gone through the preseason, and we're now getting ready to start. Um, quickly, we'll look at the how the preseason went. Um, some uneven results, obviously. Uh, just kind of getting things going. I was mostly encouraged, though. Um, most of the bad results were against teams that were above us like the villages st louis lions myrtle beach those are um, usl2 teams so they are one level above us on the pyramid so i didn't mind losing to those teams too badly um same story with memphis city our draw they're a, a usl2 team so we're able to actually um get a tie with with memphis city <clears throat> little rock is the only npsl team that we lost to and as you can see it was kind of a well we'll just look at the at the stats here we dominated the game we um we imposed our style on them but they got a goal and we gave them a goal and so we lost that one um but it, as far as the run of play i was mostly encouraged with that result um i think it bodes well uh, heading right into the season and we start with a rival uh, inter nashville they're a state of tennessee rival they're one of our um well in in real life in the nbsl we have the volunteer shield which tennessee is the volunteer state and in the what they did is in the nbsl they would take the regular season results and the team who had the best um uh, results amongst the tennessee teams won the volunteer shield so this would be a volunteer shield rivalry match for us to get started well kind of look also at our transfers history so brought in as many guys as I could the truth is I could not be very selective I pretty much had to take whatever I could get uh, my scouts didn't bring me a lot of guys um, but I feel like they did help me to improve the squad um, I tried to get mostly younger guys because as you'll see in a minute I'm not in a good situation like right there martin he's a good goalkeeper well okay good for our level you look at his ratings and his attributes and they're pretty low but i'm at the very bottom of american soccer so can't really expect to have tim howard on the team um uh, but there's the rule in npsl it's a u23 league essentially you can only have on your game day squad you can you must have at least i'm trying to remember oh sorry um you can you must have eight or at least eight under 23 players what's the rule let me check it just to make sure oh here it is a uh, maximum of over eight 23 players so on a on a 18 man squad at least 10 of them have to be under 23 players and i started out with a squad of mostly over 23 players um over o23 player meaning they're too old so i've got it as you can see this is my starting 18 and two of them are grays and i really have no choice because as you can tell everyone who's not on the game day squad are over 23 except for this guy who's injured and he's going to be out for a couple months probably um but you can tell by my uh, assistance ratings of my starting 11 that that's that's pretty respectable um i'll take that heading into you know well heading into the season i, th I think that that's that's a that's a, a squarting 11 that'll at least get me into the playoffs um if we if we do things right um and like i said you know i had to kind of take what i could get uh you're like i'll go right now and you'll see how small yeah see right now i have no my scouts are just not bringing me very much so i had i had to pretty much sign whoever would sign with me that my scouts brought um and i try to play the game straight up i only sign guys that my scouts bring me uh i might uh i might have my scouts go scout specific teams looking for players but um you know i i don't really assign people from the player search which um, unless i'm searching i'm looking at guys that my scouts have have scouted uh and that's for this season for this team that really didn't bring me very much um 
but you know I think I'm in pretty good shape so far so uh I'm just kind of looking at, I guess, my players. Obviously, my best player is this guy, Elijah Martin, and I literally just signed him. He's not. He did not. I don't think he even played in the first friendly uh, that he was, or my last friendly. So he's brand new, hoping that he can contribute. Uh, he's probably my best player according to my assisted attribute. And then George Campbell, my right back, is pretty good. Um, and then. I do feel obviously towards the front. I feel like I've got a front five that can that can hopefully produce. Um, I'd like to have a better striker, but you know, if you've got a guy who can just put the last touch on the ball, um, and you know, just looking at my team here, the big problem is our determination. Determination is the mother of all attributes, I believe in FM. And they're all really low. Um, George Campbell, one of my best players, but a one in determination. So he, he's going to be like a cone out there at times. So, But with all that said, let's just dive right into our first match. Um, again, we're playing at home against our, our nemesis, a rival, Inter Nashville FC. Um, we're going to try and impose our style of play, <clears throat> which I think is, um, in, again, preseason looked pretty pretty good i can't expect it to we're not going to look like barcelona out there but um just as kind of a recap we're a tiki taka team as you can tell i've made my own adjustments going from back to front i want my wingers to supply the width so i have them staying wide and then cutting inside and it worked pretty well in the preseason if anything my fullbacks get are a little too aggressive um at least in our half you know when we get pushed in i want them to be aggressive but i ideally when one is forward the other is kind of sitting back but it's really hard to make that work right at fm um i might experiment with putting them on uh, giving them a fullback role instead of wing back just to see how that works but um let's start the season and, and um see how it goes i have to give him a number i guess he'll be i want to give him a goalkeeper number let's make him 25 Um, obviously, Inter Nashville looks like they're packing it in. Um, I'm going to try to avoid making a bunch of adjustments. I feel like at this level, semi-pro level, if you if you try to make a bunch of tactical adjustments, um, it might hurt the way you play. So we'll see. Now you will notice their fullbacks are are dropping back. They're obviously on a defend duty. So I'll see how the first 15 20 minutes go, and then I may go from a balance to a more positive mentality. Get things going forward. Don't do a ton with. I have a system with my team talks. Nothing. Try to be positive, and usually it it gets them pretty well motivated. Do I feel my ambitions for the club are matched by the chairman? Absolutely. I don't want to piss off the chairman the first day, <laughs> first competitive game. Um, and special day. Can't get wait to get started. Derby day. How much do you look forward to taking on your local rivals? Um, whatever. Tremendous occasion. You left Christian Munoz out. Yeah, he's not ready. He's not ready to go. Plus, I, he's Munoz is a midfielder, and I don't. Right now, I feel like the my the trio I have is, is he he's not on that level. Um, now my defensive midfielder, my pivot guy, uh, Martin. He's it's not an ideal situation there, but because of injury, he's he's kind of had, I've had to move some guys around and slot him back there. So looking at the stats, we did get the first shot. That's a good. She's on target. I don't like the possession numbers, but sometimes that'll happen when a team sits back. And already we have yeah, his first game, and he gets himself booked. I don't mess around with the cards. I don't know how what you guys do, but I um if somebody gets booked, I always back them off. Um it's even more like so in, in most leagues you're playing 34 to 38 games in a season. I only have 14. So, you know, you have a you lose a guy for a game or two, like that can hurt because you you need to maximize your points. And we get our first goal on a set piece. 
nice cross and by Murray I think yeah Murray takes my set pieces and Mendoza with a goal all right so on a ball Mendoza and that's one of my signings um, so that's big um, so I'm at 1-0 I'll have to find the scout who got me Mendoza uh, doesn't look like they're Nashville's throwing guys forward yet I'm gonna keep things the way I, I am Free kick. Looks like it was over the bar. As you can tell by camera angle too, I like to kind of zoom out. Um, yeah, I like zooming out so I could see the whole field, but I but also get the three D. Like I don't want to go back to the two D, which I do sometimes two D. But um, you know, I got a pretty good system, so I like seeing the I like the three D, right? All right, so halftime 1-0, it's good. Uh, possession 55%, like that to be higher, but to be honest with this team, the players I have, 55% is probably gonna be um, as good as I'm gonna get it for now. Um, just kind of perusing the stats. Yeah, I mean, you look at the passing percentage, 88% is pretty good. Uh, I got 88% in the back. Midfield is 89. I guess I'd like for that to be higher. Uh, the attack is 84%. So, yeah, I mean, that those are pretty good numbers. So my, that's can't be too critical. And what you'll have, I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna try and rush through this game so that we're not dragging you out looking at all that analysis. But a lot of times, like at least in my experience, so in a game like this, I've got 55% possession, which feels kind of low. I like to have it over 60. Um, but when you go, like, so they've got 45%. If I went and looked, probably a lot of their passes are backwards. But they're playing with two holding mids. And so that's, in my experience, that, that kind of happens. And it kind of distorts the stats a little bit. But, um, yeah, so good first half tell the guys um please without you're going keep it up and let's hopefully go get us a win now i think i do get to use more subs <clears throat> at this level i believe the mpsl rules are five subs um but with this team i don't think i'm gonna sub a lot <clears throat> i need to sub some i'd like to get a second goal before i start subbing because Games are going to be, and we got a goal scorer gets a card. Yeah, um, because our games are going to be so congested, especially early, I need to keep guys as fresh as I can. I also, <clears throat> in games like this, I like to sub my yellow carded players, my cautioned players, to keep them from getting the second yellow. Okay, we've got something that we have. Possession's looking pretty good. And, oh, got a penalty. And if you notice, my our winger, like even though I have him set to stay wide, as we get closer to the goal, my wingers do push in. And that's what we want. And right with the finish, 2-0. Have the replays on for goals. Um, Nashville's not really changing anything. Let me look here. 73 on Sawaf. Yeah, let's, hey, let's sub him. Don't have a lot in the way of midfielders, but we're going to bring this guy in. Um, I don't know, I'm trying to do it on the stats. That's not going to work. Uh, we got Sawaf. And by the way, I'll just tell you right now, I'm going to mispronounce a ton of names. So don't... Uh, don't be too harsh on me. So, yeah, I got a first sub up 2-0. Feel pretty strongly about this game. Christensen wins that free throw or free throw. Throw in. Ugh. I have to coach basketball. I don't know with my kids. I don't really even know much about basketball, but because of my job at our school, I pretty much have to coach anything that we can't find anyone else to coach. Oh, Murray looks like he's getting a little tired, but I am. This is my right. 
He's off, Scott. <clears throat> when Murray gets down under 70, I'll probably sub him out. This Rev is a Nazi. Brief. Giving out like 10 yellow cards in this match. Oh, third goal. Beautiful. Scott Wright. Good, because that means I'm going to go ahead and take you out, Scott. No, I'm sorry. I'm moving you to the midfield. Scott can play in the midfield. He is onside. Nine was offside, but... Okay, so... Yeah, let's pull Murray out. Drop Scott back. And I'm going to bring in McCarthy, McCarthy, who is one of my few guys with high, um, he's got very high determination. So now let me think. I need to set his tackling back to third, and I need to lower Wright's tackling. Sorry, I talked my way through a lot of my tactical changes, just so I'm part of my process. All right, so sub I think I get two more or three more Christensen my left winger what is Johnson Johnson's a midfielder yeah or he's a left back let me look at my guys here What do I want to do here? <clears throat> Let's bring in Yellow. And we'll move Martin up. Change his pretty, who's not terrible left back. Okay. He is the app eased off tackles. Then All right, let's ride this out. I'll say I'll sit on the last sub. I won't use the last sub so that you guys can we can move on. Um, but this is gonna be a good win. Three zero, state rival, or derby, and three points. Great way to start the year. Um, to be honest, it is about what I expected. I thought maybe a two to three goal victory, and oh, they're going. They're gonna push forward. We'll back it off. Probably should lower my lines, but got the win, so I'm not gonna drag this thing out. So you bore you guys watching me make all these goofy little tactical changes. And I'll be honest, I'm not a tactical. I do enjoy the tactical side of it. That's oh, we got a fourth goal. Martin, nice. I just signed him, so that's a great yeah. So anyway, I uh. You know, I have a tactical style that I like to try to put in, but there's a lot of people who are, well, that was close. <laughs> I was close to being offside. So well-timed run and well-weighted pass. Um, yeah, a lot of more qualified tactical geniuses out there. Of course, Cleon, somebody that I learned from a lot. WW fan, Rashidi, obviously, um, uh, which I recommend all of those. I, I watch a lot of Rashidi's videos that he puts up right now. Uh, bust the net. Um, so tactically, I would recommend them before any of my stuff. Um, but, you know, my stuff works for me, and it's fun. You know, I, I could probably make changes that would make me win more, but I also want to play the way I want to play. So uh, I try to find a balance between winning and playing the way I want. Uh, and so, as you can tell, it, it's somewhat successful. 4-0, um, that's a... Can't really start the season much better than that. Um, let's look around the league. Looks like I'm first. Well, a four way tie for first. Uh, I was victorious. The New Orleans Jesters. Um, Greenville FC beat Chattanooga FC. Chattanooga FC is our other big rival. Um, Nashville and Chattanooga are going to be our two rivals. Uh, Chattanooga moves up the next year to NPSL Pro. 
But um, yeah, so great win. And let's look at the schedule. So <clears throat> I'll tell you what, I'll do another live com uh, against Chattanooga FC because that's they are our big rivals. We'll go down to Chattanooga to Finley Stadium, try to get a another Derby win there. And that is about the halfway point of the season. And then the next one will probably, I'll just go right on and finish the playoffs. So um, hope you enjoyed it. I'm you know not pretending to be... Uh, the most exciting FM YouTube gamer, but you know, I'm, I'm doing something a little different. Not many people are going to be making videos starting with a bottom level American club. So, um, and you know, it will be kind of interesting to watch the, maybe to see the struggles, like my transfers trying to bring guys in. Like I've Wigglesworth. He's one of my players that they've offered a contract to. <clears throat> I'll just tell you, since I have to get as many under 23 players as I can, I don't try to keep guys that are over 23 because I just, you know, if, if another team comes and signs them good riddance, because that's hopefully another spot on my squad where I can bring in an under 23 player. If my scouts will ever bring me one, I, I can kind of look at these are the, the staff I brought in. Um, you know, they're all right. Not, not, they're all part-timers, so, you know, can't really expect much from them. I have an assistant, a goalkeeping, and a fitness coach. Um, tried to cover all my bases on the coach team. Scouting team, I can, oh, this is, I maxed out. Chief scout, and then two regular scouts. One of them is looking at, um, well, we'll look at the, probably what I do, my assignments. <clears throat> so one is obviously scouting my next opposition. I've got one guy scouting the USSDA for guys that are coming out. Um, and really that was by recommendation. I think my chief scout recommended that. I don't know. He's not brought me anybody. So I may end up dropping that. Um, <clears throat> a lot of this stuff is hard coded with the American game. And so if you don't like override all the rules, then you, it may not be possible to scout the USSDA, which is kind of stupid, but um, it is what it is. And then I've got a guy just scouting the USA. He's and he, you know, he brings me guys from time to time, but sometimes like the guys won't even sign with me. So uh, I don't want a thirty-four year old anyway. But let's look at this guy, Chris Wien. Um, <clears throat> his one to four determination means I wouldn't normally even consider him, but. I want to go sign him well he actually would sign with me sometimes they'll bring me guys who will refuse to even listen to me um you know, and right now i've got a full 26 man squad i can't bring in anybody else without dropping someone and none of these guys are under 23 so i'm not even gonna fool with them um yeah i already showed you in the last video what i do tactically and i haven't made any changes from what i showed you so um yeah well, I guess see you when I play my next game against Chattanooga FC.